For a long time, Granger used to be one of the favorite marksmen of many. He was always almost a top 3 choice for the marksman role. But after he received a few nerfs, it seemed like he became quite forgotten. However, if I'm not mistaken, he received two buffs in a row. The first one, they buffed his first skill, and in the most recent one, they buffed his second skill. For that reason, I wanted to test if he's actually back to his pre nerf form and is still a very solid marksman. Since marksman is not the fastest at clearing the jungle, it's a good idea to ask your teammates to help you take the buff. I should have used regen here, but I was paying more attention to my remaining bullets so I can shoot them with the last bullet. I probably wouldn't have died here if only I had used my regen before engaging them. Anyway, it was still a good trade for us because we got the first blood and more assist gold. Our silence are struggling though. Like a Maybe if I slow her down, Diggy can catch her with his second skill. Our bottom lane is really struggling though, he died again in a 1v1. Teresla might become quite a problem if he keeps getting fed like that. I always see a starry night. If Gushion come in for the kill, I'm gonna wait for him to use his blink first before casting my first skill. If you understand the enemy skills, then you could try to predict what's going to be their next move. Our Martis hasn't learned his lesson yet. Teresla might be in the bush, I cannot blindly chase here. It's always a good idea to say GG to your teammates in the early game because that will definitely increase the team's morale. They are living evils. Close. Four versus three, you're losing. History repeats itself. Those who are the most inexperienced tend to have the best mindset. Ah, uh, it all makes sense now. Martis is redeeming himself, question mark. Smiley face.
The Franco did such a good job at saving Leslie by body blocking all the bullets. They might keep chasing Moscow. Granger's first skill hurts a lot now. Maybe we can use Moskov as a bait again. Request backup. Well, we tried. They are living evils. I'm building Athena shield here because they got two very deadly mages. You always gotta stay super attentive to your surrounding. I'm trying to get my team attention to get around this area because there's a high chance their marks may still around here or they might take the Lord soon. They are indeed taking the Lord. Meanwhile, my team is trying to kill the super tanky Teresla. Super Sugoi. Our turret is under attack. Our turret has been destroyed. Hatred consumes everything like a black hole. They are living evils. An enemy has been slain. No one gotta save our Jollibee. By the way, talking about Jollibee, I haven't had the chance to try it out yet, but I heard it's pretty good. Maybe this weekend, I will see if I get the chance to order some. Teresla old animation is actually a lot faster now. I might want to try to play him soon. Eternal peace comes at the price of sheer fear. Oh. 
I will try to catch her Leslie of course. Super aim mode activated. Even though they stole the Lord, we managed to kill most of them, so it's still a huge win for us. Now let's just take down both mirror turrets. That was really unexpected. This Leslie is playing more like an assassin than marksman. I guess that's why she has both roles in her official profile. There's my trust here. Nice play by Moscow. Our side laners are redeeming themselves. That Julian's booty is not going anywhere. Often time, you will find yourself in an unfavorable situation, but if you can stay focused throughout the game, there will always be a chance to turn the tide of battle.